Good morning, Heaven Bound family, and anyone who may be listening, this is Pastor Larry with a moment in the Word on this 3rd of August. Let me apologize. Um, um, we were just overwhelmed uh, as far as uh, uh, being so busy uh, yesterday and Sunday till we didn't have opportunity to do a devotion, so uh, we will try to do enough this morning to make up for those um, two days that we didn't get it done. But um, anyway, uh, I woke up Sunday morning and uh, my uh, Amplified was um, opened up here and um, on Psalms 37, I read it and um, was blessed by it. Um, came in this morning and the Bible was closed. I just reached over, opened it up and it opened up to Psalms 37 again. Um, unintentionally, but um, um, I uh, read it again, and um, this time I underlined some things, and I want to share some verses with you, uh, hopefully that will bless you today and um, uh, will strengthen you. I, I look at verse 1, he says, fret not yourself because of evildoers, neither be envious against those who work unrighteousness, and the Amplified uh, has parentheses there, that which is not upright are in right standing with God. Uh, my, when we watch the news today, what's happening, the, the shootings, the murdering, and so forth uh, throughout our major cities, um, um, it might be easy, especially if you lived in one of those major cities, uh, to fret. Uh, but hey, um, uh, we don't need to fret. God is in control. And um, there's a wonderful verse, and um, We'll uh, uh, look at it a little bit later there, but um, uh, notice how I think we have here in Psalms 37 some secrets to having a blessed life. One is not to fret. Just know God is in control. In his time, uh, uh, things will work out if we uh, walk before him. In verse 4, 34 there, it says, uh, but verse 33, it says, trust that is, lean on, rely on, and be confident in the Lord and do good. So shall you dwell in the land and uh, feed surely on his faithfulness, and um, truly you shall be fed. Notice verse 4 there. It says, delight yourself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desires and the secrets of petitions of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord, verse 5 says. Um, roll and, and repose uh, each care of your uh, long uh, load on uh, him. Let me get that right. These are parentheses. These are different from, uh, you know, the King James. Or in other words, the Amplified just amplifies. But he said, the, the King James said, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desires the Amplified adds, and secret petitions of your heart. Uh, King James, commit yourselves, uh, commit your ways to the Lord. And Amplified uh, puts parentheses there, roll and repose each care of your load on uh, him. And King James says, trust then, um, that is, lean on, rely on, and be confident also in him that he will bring it to pass. My friends, listen, we don't need to fret. We don't need to worry. We don't need to be anxious. Uh, we just need to trust in the Lord. Lean upon him. Rely upon him. I, uh, let me encourage you. Um, something that's uh, been a tremendous blessing to me. Uh, uh, I used to get up at um, 4 or 5 in the morning, and I just didn't have time to do what I wanted to do as far as... Uh, the Lord is concerned, and so I decided I'd get up at 3.30. Now then I set my clock for 3.30 in the morning. It gives me time to read God's Word. It gives me time to pray uh, before I have to tackle the day. And um, my friend, uh, it, it just makes the day go easier when you will spend time with the Lord. Um, in prayer, you talk to Him. In reading God's word, you let God talk to you. Uh, it goes on down in verse 7. It said, Be still. Rest in the Lord. Wait for him. 
and patiently lean yourself upon him. Fret not yourself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. Sometimes it's easy. Satan will draw our attention to the evildoers and um, uh, how they are prospering. Uh, you know, we, we think of all of the drug dealers uh, who is, um, uh, especially the cartel there in Mexico, it's getting making millions, we understand, off of the migrants that uh, come up from South America trying to get into our country here. And um, uh, we can look at that from a number of ways. Number one, understand God is going to deal with them. Uh, vengeance is mine. I'll repay, saith the Lord. So God will deal with them. I, and that's not taking away anything from our Border Patrol, from our law enforcement, uh, as they have opportunity to deal with them. Certainly they will and should. Uh, uh, but uh, the thing is that we want to uh, uh, impress upon you is that um, when we uh, spend time in God's Word, we learn to lean on Him, to trust in Him, to rely upon Him. Uh, I am totally convinced nothing is going to happen to me today that's not for my good. How do I know that? I don't know what today holds. Got to take Lois uh, to Muskogee today. Have a car wreck on the way. Uh, whatever. Uh, but no matter what happens, somehow or another, God will turn it to my good. And therefore, I'm to wait. I'm to hope. I'm to expect. I'm to believe. I'm to trust and rely upon God. And when I do that, then God promises to give me uh, not necessarily everything that this flesh wants, but the true desires of my heart, which is to walk before him with a clear conscience, uh, to uh, rely upon him and believe and trust that uh, whatever comes, God is going to take care of it. And um, I, I was reading uh, further down, it would just drop down to 16. Uh, uh, it says here, better is little that the and the Amplified has uncompromising righteous have than the abundance, the possessions of many who are wrong and wicked. Uh, and uh, if we go to St. Timothy 6, 6 and 7, it will uh, agree, give confirmation to what uh, the psalmist is saying here. Uh, down in verse 23, it says the steps of a good man, uh, parenthesis, good by the Amplified, the steps of a man, a good man, are directed and established by the Lord. When he delights in his way and he uh, uh, busies himself with his every step, though he fail, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord uh, grasps his hand in support and upholds him. Uh, the psalmist says this, and I can relate to it, at 80, uh, uh, the psalmist says, I have been young, and now am I old. Yet have I not seen the, uh, uh, and again, the Amplified uses the uncompromising. Uh, let me just give you the King James. I've been, I have been young, and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the children of God forsaken, nor his seed bagging bread or the righteous forsaken in his seed, bagging bread. All day long they are merciful and deals graciously. They lend and their offsprings are blessed. My friend, uh, when we trust in God, we can make it through a famine. We can make it through sickness. When our trust is in God, we can know that, hey, uh, after all, we're not here to live forever in this life. We're here. Uh, uh, life is just a dressing stage for us to get ready for the eternal blessings, the riches that God has for us. Uh, and uh, so right now we trust in the Lord. We wait up on him. We believe that uh, he's holding us in his hand. He's guiding our steps. And when we will uh, study his word and find out what he says to do and then do it, then we're going to live under the blessings of God. My wife and I, yesterday, uh, Lois and I, was sitting in the living room uh, 
in our uh, uh, recliners there, which we have side by side where we can sit there and hold hands and just uh, communicate with one another. But I made the statement, the Lord has really been good to us, hasn't he? And uh, uh, she confirms. And uh, our friend, God, will bless and take care of you. Uh, 28 years ago, we made a decision. Uh, we felt like the Lord wanted us to do something. We began to pray he'd bring about events in our lives. A year and a half later, he showed us what he wanted us to do. We quit two good jobs, moved to this area to start a church. Uh, didn't know anybody down here, um, but um, got involved in a work. And God has blessed us today with um, uh, no promise of anything. Uh, God has blessed us today. We have more than we had when we was working two good jobs, making pretty good money. And so, uh, hey, you can trust God with your life. And um, God will meet uh, every need you have when your trust and your confidence is in him. Uh, look at verse 31. It said, the law of his heart. God is, is his heart. None of his steps shall slide. In other words, when that person who is trusting in the Lord, relying in the Lord, leaning upon the Lord, whose delight is in the Lord, then um, the law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. Verse 34 says, wait. Uh, th this is a wonderful verse here. It says, wait for and expect the Lord and keep and heed his way and he will exalt you to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off you shall see it um, and uh, I don't know why the Amplified left out one word there the King James says wait and hope and expect and uh, our friend, uh, when we will wait upon the Lord, when we will trust in him, rely upon him, when our hope and our confidence is in him, we can expect the Lord to do right by us, uh, to um, give us uh, the, uh, uh, to, to meet every need that we might have. So I would say to you this morning, I don't fret. Delight in the Lord. Let him direct your steps. Uh, Proverbs uh, 3, 5 through 11, uh, verses that I memorized back at 17 years old as I was getting ready to enter the military. Uh, and um, uh, But it, it says this, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. He will direct your path. Be not wise in your own conceit. Fear the Lord uh, and uh, rest in him. goes on to say there that if we will give to the Lord the first of our increase, uh, then our barns will be filled with plenty. Our wine baths shall run over with new wine. And um, we will know the fullness of, of the Lord in relationship to our lives. Uh, so trust in the Lord. Uh, don't look at the world conditions. I mean, be aware of them, certainly. But don't, don't fret over them. Uh, nothing can happen to you if you love the Lord. That isn't for your good. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. So go forth today. Believe that it's going to be a good day. Look for somebody to bless. That'll make it a good day. Bless them. Uh, and uh, they will receive your blessing. In turn, my friend, uh, you will be blessed just because you feel good when you've done good to someone else. And then uh, it will bless God. When God looks down and sees one of his children doing right, 
sacrificing for others, reaching out to show a helping hand to someone in need. My friend, it will bless that person. It will bless you. It will bless God. And God will pour out his blessings upon you. Pastor Larry, uh, with a moment in the word, have a blessed and wonderful Tuesday, this the 3rd of July.